Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. After solving a series of problems in the industry chain, Huawei has returned to the one-year dual flagship release rhythm. Yu Chengdong made it clear that users can buy any mobile phone they want. This spring Huawei released the P60 series. According to previous year's practice, Huawei will hold a Mate 60 launch conference in September. But what people didn't expect was that Huawei released a big move, and Mate 60 went on sale without warning, and according to some breaking news, the Kirin chip may return. Huawei's new flagship phone goes on sale. In the past few years, Huawei's smartphone business has been subject to severe restrictions in the United States. Google's Android system cannot be used, and GMS services have been cut off. The United States has also included Huawei in the entity list and does not allow U.S. suppliers to ship related parts and components to Huawei. Huawei is restricted by the United States from software to hardware. If it were another manufacturer, they would probably have given up on the mobile phone business. But Huawei's choice is to rely on self-research to break the situation. Hongmeng system has been launched for many years, and the number of ecological devices has reached 700 million units and has 2.2 million developers. This is a breakthrough in system software. In terms of hardware, Huawei has developed its own imaging system, Kunlun Glass, and increased cooperation with domestic suppliers to solve most of the problems. Huawei Managing Director Yu Chengdong said that Huawei mobile phones are making a comeback, and consumers can buy all the mobile phones they want. This can be verified by Huawei's return to the release rhythm of dual flagships a year. This spring, Huawei released the P60 series. If nothing else, Huawei will also hold a launch conference for the Mate 60 series of mobile phones in the autumn, that is, in September. Prior to this, there were endless news related to Mate 60, but a move by Huawei made the news meaningless, because Huawei officially launched Mate 60 on August 29. According to official news released by Huawei, the Pioneer plan was launched on August 29 to allow consumers to experience it in advance and provide sales opportunities for the Mate 60 Pro model. The sales channel has also released the configuration information of the Mate 60 Pro. Generally speaking, it supports 88W wired super fast charging and 50W wireless super fast charging. The satellite communication function has also been greatly upgraded. Previously, it only supported sending text messages, but this time Mate 60 supports satellite calls. Huawei also used the self-developed second-generation Kunlun glass structure, and the anti-drop capability has been upgraded again. The rest of the imaging system is still the self-developed Xmage, the Hongmeng system is pre-installed with version 4.0, and the battery capacity is 5000 mAh. These are just general information. I believe everyone is more concerned about the situation of the processor. Kirin chip returns. Due to well-known reasons, Huawei's Kirin chips cannot be put into production, and the market share of high silicon chips has long since been cleared. Almost all the mobile phones released by Huawei in recent years are equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon chips, and they are 4G versions. Many people look forward to the early return of the Kirin chip, and the rebirth of the Kirin chip will appear in the public eye again. Can Mate 60 bring surprises? 
Huawei's official sales channels have not released information about the chip processor, but there are rumors online that this model is equipped with the Kirin 9000S chip. This is a Kirin chip model that Huawei has never seen before. Is the Kirin chip really coming back? There are divergent opinions on whether the chip information is true. Until official information is confirmed, we need to wait and see what happens. The information is for reference only and may not be the final objective fact. However, judging from the current situation, it cannot be completely ruled out that the existence of Kirin 9000S is groundless, because more than one blogger has released the Kirin chip model. A netizen named IMHYK also released a secret parameter diagram of the Mate 60 mobile phone. The platform signal bar shows that the SOC chip is Kirin 9000 using a 5 nanometers process. The news of the return of Kirin chips has caused heated discussions on the internet. After so many years, users' expectations for Kirin chips can be said to be full. If Kirin chips can be seen again, it means that Huawei has not reached the final step. Not only is the market share increasing, but the core competitiveness is also strengthening, the significance of which needless to say. 2022 is the year when Huawei turned the crisis into safety, and 2023 may be the year when the king of Huawei returns. Of course, it remains to be seen how exactly it will perform. Can the Mate 60 series turn the tide? Autumn is when major mobile phone manufacturers hold press conferences. Apple will also release the new iPhone 15 series in September. The Mate 60 Pro chose to be released at the end of August without even a press conference. Either it is very confident in the new phone, or it is itself it's just a way to warm up. Huawei did not sell all the new phones, but only for the Mate 60 Pro. Just imagine, this phone has spread widely on the internet platform, and consumers have personally experienced the performance of Huawei's new flagship phone. With word of mouth spreading, consumers will definitely have high expectations for other models. Huawei's mobile phone market share once fell out of the top five in the market and was included in others. As Huawei solves one problem after another, the pace of dual flagship releases has begun to normalize. So can the Mate 60 series turn the tide and allow Huawei to regain its position again? Own market share? Perhaps quite possible. In the second quarter of this year, Huawei's domestic mobile phone market share increased rapidly, equal to that of Xiaomi, with a market share of 13% a year-on-year -year increase of 76.1%. With such a large growth rate, Huawei has basically overcome the production capacity problem and is still going against the trend in the state of weak consumer demand for smartphones. Huawei plans to ship 40 million mobile phones this year and is the only domestic mobile phone manufacturer to increase its shipment target. I believe that with the blessing of the Mate 60 series of mobile phones, Huawei will not have a problem in completing the shipment target of 40 million units, thereby turning the tide and Apple's iPhone 15 series is fighting against each other. And we look forward to Huawei's wonderful performance.